Dude, I had like the biggest glow up for real, for real. Like, All right, bro, show me a picture before. All right, I got you. I'm not even trying to gas myself up, bro. Like, this is me before. Bro, that's you as a newborn baby, bro. Of course, you're going to look different, bro. You grew up, you fucking idiot. How did I go from this? To this. Diamonds in them whole green just like a gremlin uh, Got her fingers on me like itchy bitch I feel dizzy uh, I am poppin' like a bubble like a short man Who had the big Everyone's talking about the girlfriend glow up. You guys, this man had his Snapchat in his Instagram bio. I, was, I had to teach him that was weird and to take it out. I was single at the time. And Still, desperate. I, it screams desperate. Two years, I've glowed. Can you come back to me? Cause I was blind to see that you were right in front of me. Hit him with the snare and the bass swear in the face. This fucking world better prepare to get laced because they're gonna taste my. Fine. I'll do it myself. Person here at glow up or glow down? Oh, she's so cute, but yeah, I should probably glow it up. <laughs> really, really? Okay, so like, do you want to see what she looks like right now? Sure. Well, she's actually right there. What do you think? Oh. What, what do you think? Damn, she's cut. <laughs> You're very gorgeous. What, 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 what do you think of him? He's okay, but really? you? Wait, what? Wait, what do you? Oh! I'm gonna teach you how to glow up instantaneously, like instant glow up. We'll warn you this glow up tip may cause an existential crisis for a day or two, or a week. But it's worth it because once you get over that hump, you're gonna be way hotter. Go into your closet, look at all of your accessories and clothes, and as you pull them out one by one, ask yourself, did I buy this thing because I really truly like it aesthetically? Or did I buy this to look like someone else on the internet or impress other people with it? Like a crush or people on TikTok or Instagram, etc. And see how much of what you own you bought not because you like it, but because you wanted to impress other people or look like someone else.
And then if you can, you donate those clothes and little by little you rebuild your wardrobe. You do not buy shit unless you see it and you're like, oh my God, that's so me. When I did this, it was a humbling experience. But the proof is in the pudding, baby. Let me show you. Before, after, before, after, before, after. It's not like you look bad in the before. You just don't look fully comfortable in your own skin because you're wearing things that you don't feel fully represents who you are. I had to come to terms with the fact that I only feel comfortable dressing like a mixture of Lorelai Gilmore and, I don't know, Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean. And that was kind of hard for me to face. But I feel a lot better now, so you do it too. <laughs> Willa Cotter, the hot tamale. <laughs> Oh my god, the meat riding is crazy. At first you had my curiosity, but now you have my erection. How to glow up in the cheapest way possible. Okay, so this is what I used to look like. I look a lot different now. <laughs> When COVID hit, that's when I really started to, like, focus on my appearance and, like, start to, like, try to better myself. Um, and I think I'm going to make a few parts to this, but here are some things that I noticed worked really well. White teeth is an instant glow up. I used to have really yellow teeth and that used to be my biggest insecurity. And that's, like, the first thing people notice. So these are the whitening strips I use. They work really well. Um... So go get some of those. Next is do not breathe through your mouth ever. Like obviously you can when you're talking. But this is a picture of a mouth breather and this is a picture of a nose breather. It's the same guy, but this is him after he started breathing through his nose. Another important thing with this is having correct tongue posture. So when you have your mouth closed, don't put your tongue where your teeth are. Put it in the little like whole socket thing <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but the diagram shows you right above your tongue this literally changes your entire face shape and like makes your jawline more prominent here's another picture just to show you like how different it makes every part of your face when you breathe through your nose versus your mouth my next tip is find out what hair color suits you best this is me when I was a brunette this is a horrific picture of me when I dyed my hair like black. Here's my hair now. Obviously you can see it now too, but I just think that blonde suits me so much more. Everyone has different preferences, so you just have to find like the color that you feel the most confident in. For me it was blonde. You're so pretty. I could never be like you. What? You're because I ain't drunk enough to do that. Hard did puberty get you to pick only?
think this guy had a glob or a glow down? Glow up. Do you want to see what he looks like right now? Yeah. Okay. This is what I look like last year, and this is what I look like yesterday. This is the ultimate guide for glowing the fuck up. Obviously, we need to glow up from the inside and out, but today I'm going to be talking about things that I think made the biggest difference in the past year. Step one, wear sunscreen. My face was so textured and pigmented because I didn't wear sunscreen last year, but now it's just a lot more even and bright. Step two, start using a lash serum. For all the Asian girlies out there, use Rapid Lash. It changed my life, not sponsored. Step three, wash your face every night. Don't go to sleep with crusty makeup on. Even if the world feels like a washing machine at 3 a.m., at least take off your makeup. Step four, experiment with makeup, but usually less is more. I was my ugliest my freshman year of college when I was caking on makeup and lashes every single day. It just looks super fake and hides your youth.